We've had hundreds of submissions from Aventador to Chirons, all of them junk, not one of them worthy of the series. But speaking of series, this week we have a worthy competitor. The Land Rover Series 1 from 1955. The Series 1 comes with a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine making about 50 horsepower, which means it has almost a 50% power deficit versus the Morgan. 0 to 60 is unknown. 0 to 30 is 15 seconds, which means it's three times, you know, it's a lot slower than the Morgan, so it's junk, the Morgan wins. Let's talk about wheels, tires, and suspension. As we know, the Morgan has beautiful wire uh, wheels and uh, disc brakes, uh, and the Series 1 has these... Um, uh, these very dangerous, low-grip, uh, old um, Michelin 16s, it's, it, it's not safe, obviously. Uh, it's got a leaf suspension and drum brakes. You don't even need to have a Morgan nearby to know that this thing is absolutely junk, and therefore the Morgan wins. Exhaust. Obviously, the Morgan's exhaust is a state-of-the-art, and the Series 1's exhaust is actually quite cool. It has this beautiful patina and it's very loud, louder than the Morgans, in fact, which makes it, I would say, the winner. But unfortunately, it's concealed underneath the vehicle. We can't see it. Therefore, it's junk, and the Morgan wins. We all know the Morgan storage is amazing, but I got to say, the Series 1 storage is even better. You've got space for everything you need when you break down, which you will. Uh, a, this is obviously for some other vehicle, which is even more amazing. You've got a spare fuel in an open container. You've got a box... Uh, full of tools and jumper cables and uh, you know something um, the series one wins ingress and egress um, well the Morgan is obviously amazing here uh, you get open the door we have incredible access you can just get in and then if you want you can uh, actually just go like this and you have so much space and comfort um, it's uh, it's amazing, and if you want to get out, you just, you know, just do this, and I mean, it's, it's amazing, it, the, the Series 1 wins. The fit and finish is incredible because of features like this. If you open the door all the way, this beautiful little stop protects your paint. Got to say, the, the Series 1 is really pulling ahead. The interior of the Series 1 is fascinating. Uh, well, it's got a manual transmission, which is great, and um, I love the, the shifter. Uh, it's got overdrive control, um, differential lock, um, two and four wheel control, uh, battery kill switch, push button starter, just like an Evoke, so very ahead of its time. Uh, it's got an exposed uh, heating unit with very easily controllable vents, which is fantastic, and when it breaks, you can fix it because it's com completely exposed. Uh, You've got, I mean, these gauge clusters, fantastic. And not only does it look vintage, it is vintage. Uh, I don't know what this light does, or this one, it doesn't matter. No one cares. It's awesome. This switch, uh, who knows? Um, it's got a cigarette lighter, a real cigarette lighter with this actual cigarette on it. Um, switches, which, I, I, who knows what they do. Uh, you have here the turn signal indicator. It's actually labeled Lucas, which is the first honest electrical system in a, in a British car. Uh, steering wheel is fixed uh, and cannot be removed, so the anti-theft sucks. But the whole vehicle, by definition, is an anti-theft device. Uh, and here, just in case your headlights don't work, you have a spare cable to connect them. Uh, I want to say it's junk because it is, but versus the Morgan, the Series 1 wins. Uh, windshield, it, it has a real windshield, which is amazing, which is um, ringed with... I don't know. Is, is it aluminum or steel? Uh, what? Well, the, the, it doesn't matter because it's, it's actually great. You can lower it and, oh, wait, and you can raise it, which is awesome. And then you can lock it, which I won't try to do because the parts look rusted. Uh, and then you're actually protected from the elements. And the best thing about it is that it actually has windshield wipers. Uh, and if they work, you, you control them here. And if they don't work, you pull this out and you can manually do it while you're driving through the spokes of the steering wheel, which is great because there's only three of them. I, you know, I want to say this is junk because it is, but it's, it's uh, the, 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 the Series 1 wins. Let's talk about refueling. Uh, the Series 1 is fascinating because you have all these safety steps before you can actually refuel it. First, you have to open the door. Then you lift the seat. 
uh, then you lift this and prop it up against this. Then you, uh, oh, th this, well, it's unlocked, but it would be locked, and you, you unlock it, and then you do this, and then you actually have the, the cap, and the, the cap is, and the cap is uh, chained. And then, look, you could lift this to refill from height. This system's amazing, and um, it's great. It's, in the Morgan, you can just throw a match inside. There's no security. So I got to say, the, uh, the Series 1 wins. Mirrors. You'll notice uh, it doesn't have side mirrors, which is unsafe, which means it's junk. But you do have amazing visibility because everyone can see you. There is a rearview mirror which looks aftermarket, which is junk. Uh, you know something? Uh, it, this is junk. The Morgan wins. Now you'll notice the headlights are perfectly placed facing forward, uh, but they are clearly junk because they are Lucas headlights, which are candles basically in a can. Totally unsafe. You can put tape on them, which is cool, but the lights are, what the fuck, blocked by these uh, panels, and it's, it's junk, it's unsafe, um, Morgan wins. The Series 1 is obviously junk for other reasons. Should it break down and it looks like it will, the engine is difficult to access because the spare tire's on top, and the windshield is folded down on top of that. So it's junk and the Morgan wins, but the Series 1 has one incredible advantage over the Morgan. Every time you park it, this magically appears. And if you should need to hand crank it, you just drop this in here, and then you do this, and then you start cranking. Just make sure you've got enough space in front of the car parked in front so you can, you can crank it. So the Series 1 wins. And then you've got the problem of opening the engine bay, which looks difficult. It, well, let's find out. Oh, look, the, uh, these latches are already loose. So, do they ever work? No. Well, yeah, they do. They hold down the windshield, which you have to remove first. Oh, okay. To get to the oh, actually, it's really easy. And there it is, all muddy. But you still have to open a cover, and you don't need to do that in the Morgan. So, this is junk, and the Morgan wins. You know, when I say that the Series 1 is literally junk, it is literally junk, there actually is bailing wire right here holding the engine together. Morgan wins. You know, when comparing British cars, it's tough because uh, junk versus junk is always close. And in fact, it is very close. The vehicles are neck and neck, which means it's time for driving impressions. I don't know who Alex Roy is. I don't know why he wears patches on his shirt. He doesn't have holes in him. He doesn't work on his car. I work on this thing. I loan him my car. He makes fun of it. I, I just don't get this guy. He drives cross country. I drove cross country in one of these. At least mine made it. His always broke down. What was that noise? Yeah. Okay. Well, the Series 1, which I was joking about when I said it was junk, it really is junk. The, uh, the acceleration is terrible. Uh, the steering is terrible. Uh, well, the gearbox is terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's got fumes. It smells. <laughs> the driving experience is, um, it's, actually, it's actually horrible. Before I drove it, I was pretty sure that the uh, Land Rover would win by a hair. But now that I've driven it, I can honestly say, I'll go this way. That is, not only is it junk, it's absolute shit. It is the worst driving experience of all time. And although I really want to say the Land Rover's better, and I really want to say the Land Rover Series 1 wins by a hair, it loses. It is total junk. And in no universe would I ever want to drive it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to say that because I love it. I absolutely love this car. And it is only $5,000. And behind us, oh my God, who's that? The owner of the Land Rover. So, what do you think of that Morgan? I've got some bad news for you. 
I was pretty sure the Land Rover was going to win before I drove it. But guess what? It's junk. <laughs> it's absolute junk. But for $5,000, it does win. Because you could get 10 of these for the price of that. So maybe the Land Rover wins after all. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Let me show you how this starts. Fuck <laughs> that. Don't worry, I got a British car. I got jumpers. Okay. God damn it. <sighs> Again?